Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah. Subscribe down below and please like this video. Um, that helps me a lot. So today I'm going to be talking about how we saved thousands and thousands of dollars at our wedding. We got married this summer. It was so much fun and we ended up saving a lot of money. So we were supposed to have 170 people and that guest list went down to 25 people due to COVID, which instantly saved us a bunch of money. But this is things that I was already going to do with the big wedding to save a few bucks. So first things first, my dress. Dresses, the store, and I tried a few dresses on and the least expensive dress was $1,500 plus alterations and plus tax so over two grand was the least expensive dress so I looked on Facebook marketplace and I found this dress and I've already seen it on someone else on Instagram so I was like I have to go try that on so I went and tried it on and I fell in love and I like knew that was the one I wanted um, and the girl was the same height as me, had a little bit bigger hips than me, so I had to get taken in. But other than that, I didn't need any alterations, and um, it was really clean, so I didn't even need to get it dry cleaned, which is around $200 just for dry cleaning. So I tried that one on, and then I was like, I just want to be sure. So I went to a bridal salon, and I found a few that I liked, but for the price difference, I could not justify paying that much more for a dress um, that I was only going to be wearing for a few hours. So my dress ended up costing me $600, and it was originally over two grand. The girl paid for it. I would not have paid that much for it, but I paid $600 for it cash, and... Um, yeah my aunt ended up altering it so that was free and she was just starting out so she just wanted like to try it and so I ended up helping her out and she helped me out so that all worked out in the end so I saved a significant amount of money on my dress and I'll put a picture of it the next was food food can get so expensive a caterer can get over $50 a people. That's like cheap, I think, is $50 a person, but food can get really, really expensive. So I did have a lower end um, barbecue that was coming, but with COVID, I scratched that. And what we ended up doing was paying $200 for our food in total. So I ended up getting crackers and dip from Costco for the appetizers and then I made that dip with like salsa, cream cheese and cheese um, and put some Tostitos out and that was like the appetizers while we were getting our pictures done. And then we live pretty rurally but there's a store right down the road and she makes the best pizza. So we ended up getting 10 pizzas and that was about $110. And then for late nights, oh, and then I bought salads from Costco as well to go on the side with that. So that wasn't very expensive at all. And then my sister-in-law made us cupcakes, just plain cupcakes. She decorated them all nicely. So that was free. And then um, for late night stack, I got a whole bunch of chips, but I forgot to put them out. So and everyone ended up eating the extra pizza anyway, which is like so much better when you've been drinking if you want like to eat like leftover pizza. So that was around $200 and the other meals I delegated out. So we had our rehearsal dinner barbecue thing outside here um, Friday night and I gave that to my in-laws. So they got burgers and salads and fries, or not fries, that would have been really nice though. Um, burgers and chips and salad and whatever. And then the morning of my wedding, I got my or my friends. I didn't really have a bridal party, but my friends got ready with me. I got them to each bring something. So they brought some like breakfast stuff. They brought orange juice and champagne and they each kind of like bought little things so that it didn't add up to a whole bunch. And then my parents did the breakfast the next day and they just had like sausages and eggs and we just cooked them on the barbecue and made breakfast sandwiches. So that was really, really good and it's not expensive for one person if you delegate it out to a whole bunch of people. So then our videography and photography was the biggest expense that we had and my videography ended up being $1,800 which was like super super good and it's because 
I heard that one of my cousins was getting into videography um, and so I just messaged him being like hey can you do it like I didn't really know what to expect and that was before he started doing weddings so now he charges a lot more than that so I ended up getting in there like right before um, he started charging more so that was really really good then our photography was also $1,800 and that you need to shop around for that included our engagement pictures which was really fun I really like doing that but um, that you need to shop around for because the girl I really really wanted was $5,500 and I was like uh uh like I'm not paying that so I shopped around and like looked at prices and she was super affordable and really really good so I'm super happy with that and how that turned out so that saved us a ton of money also the next was tables and chairs. So our venue was free because we did it at our house and we built this giant garage last fall and we had it in the garage. So tables and chairs, I asked to borrow. Everyone has some of those like white folding chairs with the legs that um, they use for like, if they have like Easter or Thanksgiving at their house or whatever. So a whole bunch of people brought some of those um, tables and then for some reason my friend's dad had like 18 white chairs and so we, or maybe it was 20, so we ended up um, using them and then the kids had different chairs and then Derek and I had different chairs um, and it worked out so well. So I was just casually talking to her about it and she's like, oh my dad has all these chairs. So that helped a lot. Um, make sure you talk to people like network about say what you need and sometimes they'll surprise you with the ideas you had because I didn't think anybody I knew had that many chairs. So for the big wedding, um, I was quoted $1,100 for the tables and chair rentals which like is insane um, and they're the only people that I ended up losing money from so I lost around $300 from my deposit for them but that was the only money I lost so I was very grateful because I know people who have venues and stuff have lost a lot of money the next was my hair and makeup. I did it for free, so I ended up doing my own makeup. I watched uh, YouTube tutorials like a couple months before, and I just found one I really liked and then tried to recreate it in my own way, but I practiced a lot. So you have to make sure that you're practicing um, before. Don't just go the morning of and just see what works. Like I practiced, I saw how things wore throughout the day in the heat and in the sweat. And um, I tried out a few products, so I did spend a bit of money on products, but they were all drugstore, nothing expensive, and then I still have them to this day, I still use them. So instead of just paying like once for a makeup artist, I still have that money, or that makeup. And the next was my hair, so my godmother ended up doing it for free, she's a hairdresser, um, and she offered to do it for free, and I took her up on that offer, and it worked out really well, and I was really happy with my hair. Um, decor, use stuff around your house. I have so many little like love things and we have like this white M that um, I got from HomeSense a few years ago and just like welcome signs and stuff like that. So I just used decor. My sister made these beautiful wood palettes um, and she did a lot of the decor to be fair. So um, I'm really grateful for that and it was really beautiful but I did pull some pieces from my house and just put them around. Florals get people to bring their basket florals. My godmother and my mom brought all their flowers from their house and we just set them around everywhere and it looked so pretty and it was free. And then for the tables, I put baby's breath from Costco, super cheap at Costco. Um, baby's breath is super cheap and goes a long way. And then I ended up buying a bouquet from Costco and I'm, or er, um, an arrangement I guess and then I made a bouquet my mom and my godmother made me a bouquet with them and it was so beautiful too so that would cost me probably $30 for all that and I was quoted $200 for the floral arrangement or for the bouquet from a florist like no thank you um, and also like our arch we built out or we I rented it it was I don't remember how much that was, like $70 or something, but I ended up renting it and my mom and I made a floral thing with fake flowers and then we just wrapped our own fabric around it. Um, and she also quoted me like $300 or something with it decorated, so I saved money there. Um, and our DJ, 
we saved so much money on our DJ. One big perk was my dad um, is in a band and has band equipment and he sings country, so we danced to him. But after he was done, I didn't want him playing all night. After he was done, then um, we used Spotify. We made a Spotify playlist and we just played it. That way you can get whatever songs you want. You don't have to rely on a DJ. Oh, this is a, a crappy song and everyone goes and sits down. No, we kept it going all night. My sister DJed and it was really fun and didn't cost me a dime so that is a way to save money also and then I just have two um, extra little tips here uh, pay offer to pay cash to people so some people I offered to pay cash to and that saved on HST and taxes it's kind of not supposed to do that but um, they took it and the worst they could say was no so that saved us a bit of money and then have 500 to like a thousand dollars extra for little things that come up if something goes wrong the week of or the day of just have that like cushion there so that you're not stressed about money um, and just know that like there's money that you can have it I would even have it in cash so if I had to say oh mom can you run to the store and get me this or this then it's just easy and I have it and I'm not worrying about it, I'm not stressing about it. So that is how we saved thousands of dollars on our wedding. Obviously it helped a ton to have um, the less people and have our house as our wedding venue. But there are some things that you can't really save on, um, which was booze for us. We spent a lot of money on booze, probably like $500. But had we um, have had our big wedding, I think I had like three grand delegated to the open bar. So that saved a ton of money, obviously. Um, the officiant, like she's just, that's her cost. The marriage license, that's the cost. So there are some things that you can't get around, but there's a lot of things that you can get around. So. I hope that this helped in any way. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope that you know that you don't need to spend forty, fifty thousand dollars on your wedding to have a fun wedding. And I'm so into small weddings now. We just had immediate family and immediate friends, and it was the best wedding ever like I wasn't stressed about trying to talk to everybody like I the people that were there I could talk to and enjoy their company and we could dance and we could like I didn't have to go get pictures with a hundred people it was just like the few that were there and like, like it was I can't I can't even say like how amazing it was and I'm so happy that we ended up doing it and it led us to be able to reach other financial goals which I just have a video on now which is paying off my student loan so because I saved so much money at our wedding I was able to pay off my student loan then the other thing was honeymoon I was really stressed about how we we're gonna afford a honeymoon after the wedding um, before COVID happened and it was gonna be I think I had four thousand dollars budgeted to that um, so I was pretty stressed about that and I knew I could wait a year but like I didn't really want to either so I didn't know what to do and thankfully not thankfully but COVID happened and so the big honeymoon was just out the door and we ended up renting an Airbnb for two nights in this cabin um, about two hours away and we got to bring our dog and it was so nice just to escape the two days after I highly highly recommend that the, so if you get married on a Saturday, keep the Sunday, although I was ready to leave Sunday afternoon, I wanted to go, but keep the Sunday to clean up and relax and whatever, and then the Monday, take off, like, because you, the high from the wedding is so big, you just don't want to go back to work on Monday, like, you have to go somewhere, so even if it was, um, just that small, I think the Airbnb for us was 110 or 120 a night, so 220 bucks, we brought our own food, we, we ate a few chip trucks on the way there, but we brought our own food, and, um, our own drinks and it was so cheap so that was really fun and we just got to spend time playing games and enjoying the outdoors and stuff that we really really like so that is my video and I hope it helps and I hope that you have a great wedding if you're getting married and I will talk to you next time thanks for watching and stopping by